Tonight, we're getting real about housing. We've been reporting on the affordable housing crisis in Massachusetts for years now. And earlier this week, we told you in one year, the rent in Boston has increased as much as 23% on some units. But rising rent is also impacting communities outside the city. Boston 25 consumer reporter Jason Law spoke to one woman who found out her rent was more than doubling. Hey, Mark and Sarah, this is a copy of the notice that this Mansfield woman received earlier this summer, in the past summer, and back in June, letting her know that her rent was going to increase by almost $1,000. She's in her 70s, lives on a fixed income, and right now doesn't know what she's going to do. Everybody got these? Uh, uh, yeah. They were all at everybody's doorstep. Mary Cuniff showed us the notice from her new landlord that turned her world upside down. I basically said to him, can we talk? The 72 year old from Mansfield said she's lived in the grain mill apartment building for almost 20 years. She lives on a fixed income, relying on Social Security and a small pension. Her rent was $825 for a one bedroom loft. But the new owners told her a few months ago her new rent was more than doubling to $1,750. Can you afford to stay there? No. Documents show the building is now managed by SMG Inc., a company out of Rhode Island and Fall River. Conniff says she's tried to contact the company for help, but has gotten nowhere. What if it was your mother or your father? or your grandmother. The fact is there aren't a lot of options. Doug Quattrochi is the executive director of MassLandlords.net, a trade association for landlords in Massachusetts. He said the previous owner may have done Cuniff a disservice by keeping her rent so far below market value for so long. But he believes the new owners need to work with senior tenants to help them adjust to a higher price. The landlord should not be doubling the rent on somebody like that. And if they were a certified Massachusetts landlord, the very first step committing to our best practices would be don't do that to somebody. As for Cuniff, she still doesn't know where she's going to end up. Will I have to borrow money from my kids? Oh, yeah, and that's the most embarrassing thing as a parent you can do. Cuniff told me she's already sent out several applications for affordable housing for senior locations throughout Massachusetts, but she's still waiting to hear back. We did make several attempts to get a comment from SMG today, but we didn't hear back. We're live in Mansfield tonight. I'm Jason Law for your local station, Boston 25 News.